Hi Taurus, this is Just with your July 22nd, 2019 weekly reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Taurus. Um, so yeah, this week seems to be a little bit more of a um relatively kinder, I'll say, week. You may be coming out of last week um being a, a bit of a bitch. I have to say that for some of you Tauruses, um, particularly Taurus women. Um yeah, you may have been a little chafe as far as the way you express things you were acting toward people. Money looks amazing for some of you. If you are putting your focus, energy, time, effort, and attention on money, you're making it happen. Your wishes are coming true and you are you are really creating a legacy for yourself for some of you Tauruses, absolutely. And I feel like it's fated and destined for you to have some form of wish come true, celebratory moment. It's happening. It's going to happen. It may not happen right now. It's at a very dis destined and fated time, but you will find victory. I feel in the meantime, while you're in search of victory, retribution, or um, justice... You're very combative, Taurus. You're very combative. And I feel like what you're doing is slowing the process down. Okay? Patience is not your virtue this week. You will be a bit agitated because of it. Some of you are celebrating before it e things are even happening. Um, some of you were anticipating a certain situation to happen already and because it possibly has not happened or will not be happening this particular week, you may find yourself very combative toward people, which is only going to slow your process down. Not only is it going to slow down the process with the people that may be involved, but karmically you're slowing your process down. You have karma right here. You have a lot of karma. So I would say this week for you Tauruses, watch how you talk to people. Watch how you act toward people. Watch your behaviors. Try to come from the best place possible. It's going to be difficult for you to be able to be clear-headed, clear-thinking, um, patient, taking things step by step. That will be your challenge this week. But understand that whatever it is that you're looking forward to, you're aiming, you're putting your mind, focus, and attention toward, it is going to happen at a very destined time. And if it doesn't come by way of someone or circumstance that you anticipate it can definitely come to you in a different person or different circumstance you may be looking in the, the wrong area you may be expecting it from the wrong person but if you're putting out good good is going to come to you may not come from the person you're expecting it, it to come from and for some of you Tauruses that's kind of what I'm saying like you really want it to come from this person you want it to you, like you have your mind focused and it happening this sort of way. And it may not happen that sort of way. I feel like you are looking to pick a fight with someone, Taurus. It could be vice versa. Someone could be trying to pick a fight with you. But if you, they are, I feel like you, um, and again, you may be a witness to this. This may not be happening to you. This may be happening around you. Uh, you may hear of someone who... Um, had a fight, had a falling out, or someone tried to fight or fall out with a particular person. But I feel for some of you, because it is showing up as, you know, you feel like you deserve A, B, and C, there may be a fight that you're picking. Choose your battles. Choose your battles and watch your attitude. I've got to tell you, because what goes up comes down. As above, so below. You put out what you get. Or you get what you put out. Remember those sayings because it's going to come back to you. And by week's end, your stubbornness, perhaps you kicking up dirt at someone or creating a, a form of fight or fallout because you may feel justified, but it's your it's not the way you're doing It's how you're doing it. You may lose someone. You may lose up to three people and you don't even realize it just yet. I feel people are watching your behavior. And for some of you Tauruses, before you even get in the comment section, this could very well be vice versa. But it's coming up on me strong, so I have to say it. Somebody might even be watching your behavior. They're seeing everything. So it's something about your words, the way that you communicate, the way that you talk, the way that you be, you're behaving or handling people, which is going to be a problem. And the problem is, is that you guys are very stubborn. And it's so karmic right now 
that if you stay in this mindset and you're not flexible and you're not uh, you're not uh, accepting people as the individuals that that they are you understand then karmically you're going to be forced to at some point i'm telling you that's just what i see you're going to be forced to you're going through some type of loss heartbreak pain okay and i feel that as weeks go on like as i said weeks go on but by the end of this week going into next week you're going to be holding tight onto your money but some of you definitely have a plan in mind that you're thinking about in order to give you more income more of what you're looking for you're going to a different place so some of you could be saving to physically move some of you may be looking at a new career new job a new this new that so you're expanding your thoughts or you're thinking about a particular next step next thought next trip next venture and it will cause for you either either have to save money or to come up with some type of strategy to get to this place but there's going to be disappointment behind that you're not going to be able to leave when you thought you were you're not going to something is not going to work when you think it was supposed to work okay you will get there in leo season i feel like things will work out but why you're going through this particular time frame it looks like it would be a little bit more of a problem for you and you just need to be patient so for those of you tourists that can practice patience understanding accepting people for who they are not trying to change people to conform to your way um watching how you speak to people again allowing not even allowing but accepting really um, individuality your own as well as everyone else's right because you can't expect people to respect your individuality but then it's a problem for everyone else you got to put everybody else in the box that's not going to work you've got to accept everyone's um individuality and accept the change that everyone is kind of making even if it inconveniences you to some extent or if you signed up for something and you now you 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 want your you want your just do you 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 had your mind set on something you want it no matter what and if you don't have it all hell to pay that's going to come back and bite you you got it okay good so now when it comes to months um when it comes to matters of love and i know you guys are like just where's this coming from somebody is going to relate to this and for some of you it's coming from a place that maybe you are so stubborn about that you're not admitting to yourself but it's coming from a place this is a very strong message here now when it comes to matters of love i feel like you guys have addressed the elephant in the room or someone did okay um there's a wanting to get out and just be be free and have fun with friends and family or just get out and have um some good times with people that you enjoy and that's kind of it may be like save the date you know you may be re reserving time especially if you're single um so it may not happen this this week in particular of going out going on a trip going on a vacation but there's a save the date there's the strategies and, and uh, suggestions offers coming in for you to plan a trip to do something some of you may be going through a process of a divorce and you're fighting your way all the way through separation things not working out and you're fighting all the way through but you're only you're only um slowing down the process slowing down resolve if you want to get on the other side of a problem with someone fighting with them or being confrontational um isn't going to move the needle forward being stubborn isn't going to move the needle forward that's going to slow down the process you think or someone is thinking about you, but it's very negative in things of the past, okay? You guys may have like parent issues, mother issues, father issues, just your upbringing may be very traumatic for you. So someone is thinking of the times that the two of you have spent and they may feel like your attitude i just feel like taurus is your attitude was a little negative you may have tried to fight with a fire sign woman leo sagittarius or aries does not mean that um doesn't mean that she's under that sign she's just someone that's very self-confident someone that is changeable so um someone that may treat you as you know that you may feel like she doesn't necessarily value you let me say that um I think that there's missing communication here with this person. I think that you have a certain intention toward this person, 
but your love languages or your love styles or just the way that you communicate is very problematic. We are in Mercury and retrograde, so it is kicking up, you know, old feelings I feel that are pretty negative I mean it's going from Leo to Cancer so those are very deep rooted emotional signs so I feel like there's some old deep rooted emotions between you and possibly a fire sign or even an air sign that's kind of coming to the surface this particular week and it may create an, a fallout a fight now if that does happen you may your reactions to them because maybe you wanted to go out, maybe you wanted to have fun. They reneged or, you know, they've been slow in and telling you how they feel or moving the needle forward. As I said, maybe a bit combative. You'll continue to be a bit stubborn um, while still waiting. But this is over. For some of you, it's going to be over if you're dealing with a fire sign. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but someone that you anticipated wanting to do something with and they've been kind of like dragging their foot or probably told you no to begin with. So there's definitely an imminent breakup, disconnect, separation between you and another person. I feel that you are disappointed because you really did have intentions toward this person, but it looks like they they don't have the same feelings. And I'm talking to Taurus men. Okay, some of you, 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 you're arguing with one woman, Taurus men, you're arguing with one woman because you can't have another woman. So you're taking all your frustration out on one woman because you can't have uh, someone else. And that's the problem. Um, or you may find that, you know, love right now this week may be a bit difficult because, again, all of these old feelings and issues with people, period, are surfacing and that's creating a lot of um that woundedness that's happening may be coming up out of you toward the end of the week i do see that there's going to be a coming back to address the situation okay um there's some things that you need to get off your chest and i feel for you some of you tourists there's a man here that wants to get some things off of his chest he's been waiting a while he's been hella stubborn he it's it, what i'm getting for the men and that's for tourist women as well as that's for tourist men as well as the women i'm sorry that's for tourist men as well as the men in the lives of tourist women what i get from these male energies are and for some of you Taurus men, that may not be the case, but that's what I'm seeing this particular week. It's only a weekly reading. But I'm what I'm getting from the male energy is they want to say something. They probably been, have probably been trying to convey their feelings for quite some time to no avail. And for everyone, it'll be different. Why? This particular male has been waiting stubbornly for quite some time for things to go his way, or he could just be a stubborn person. At the same time, waiting for you to respond or waiting for there to be the response that he wants. He wants a particular outcome, a particular response. He's only going to open up with the expectation of wanting what he wants. It's kind of like this uh, bratty energy is what I'm getting. Like someone wants what they want, how they want it, when they want it. They don't want to take a no for an answer, but they're going to get a no. And that's going to cause disappointment and pain and, and you know, loss on their part. So someone can't accept another person's reality. That's kind of what I'm getting from you guys, period, on every front. Someone's not able to respect the other person's um, independent way of thinking or being. That seems to be the problem. For some of you Tauruses, you may be saying, me, me, someone's not doing that to me. It could be you as well. But I just get someone's trying to keep another person in a box and they want them to you know, it's like they think that they're a wind-up doll. Like, you know, like you're going to move them how they want to move them. They put the words in their mouth. And like, you know, you're not a puppet master. Someone's not a puppet master to another person. It's kind of what I'm getting. So someone is tired of being controlled and ruled, if that makes any sense, in a particular relationship. Even if this is just a, a getting to know someone, there's this Okay, I this can only work with you if I conform to your way of being. Someone's tired of that. Uranus and Taurus, people are going to be tired of that. Now, you would think that it's happening to Tauruses, but it could very well be happening to other people because everyone, to some extent, is liber liberating themselves when it comes to their own self-worth and value, right? So for some of you, you're kind of busting out of this conformality that someone's trying to keep you in a box. And for others of you, it is others that's busting out of that from you as well as what I see plain as day so in the extended we're going to look at how how this is going to work out will you 
stay away, keep moving forward. Um, if there's going to be a coming back together, can you come back together amicably? Because I definitely see separation. It could just literally be that you guys, someone's, you know, working at a distance. You live away apart from each other. But even with this distance, there is a coming back. Will you stay together? Can you two start to exist as individuals while still together? Because that seems to be a bit of an issue as well. Um, so we're going to look at a little bit deeper into this love situation when it comes to Taurus and if you're interested, click that link below. Uh, otherwise, um, I would love to hear from you guys. I know this is a bit of a different um, reading for you Tauruses out there. Hopefully, it's not coming off too biting or too shocking for you. I'm only going by what I see. It. I'm seeing it very strong, very heavy. Um, and because when I see certain things that I know will karmically come back to you or catch up to you, uh, I do kind of make mention and try to convey the message as much as possible. So if you would love to share, I would love to hear from you. If you would like something personal from me, in the description box is where you'll find me. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Taurus.